It's an annual event that has been scaring guests for more than 20 years. Friday at the Fort is back this Saturday. Alyssa Thurlow and photojournalist Mark Redeker take us to Fort Knox to see what creepy creatures may be lurking behind the halls. Getting ready for Friday at the Fort 2023. This outbeats every other event across the season, all of them combined. Every time we change the route, it will never be the same. The props are different, everything's a little bit different. And it's always trying to be themed on the carnival, Carnival of Fright. So we've got circus guys all through here, uh, clown people, clown uh, animatronics, we got clown um, actors. New to Fright this year is something more for the PG crowd. It's called Chicken Hour. It will run from 5.30 to 6.30. Same route, same props. The less jump scares. The music won't be as intense, the uh, loud bangs and stuff. Right? Oh, <laughs> it's not for four year olds. There's some really gross looking things, right? Yeah. This is the one that makes you go, oh boy. <laughs> Look, it's my twin. Then we ramp that up with Unleashed uh, on the second hour, and that's when all the bells and whistles start up. And then by the third hour, which is called Full Throttle, is uh, all game on, right? Check this out. This girl's creepy. The hours are 5.30, 6.30 for chicken hour, 6.30, 7.30 for the uh, Unleashed, and then 7.30 to 8.30. And so come during your block time or 15 minutes prior. That's the one thing I ask, because we, we, traffic, we, nobody wants to wait that long in line in, in their car. We'll entertain you once you get here, but please spare the parking. Don't, don't show up any earlier than like 15 minutes to your prior to your walk. <laughs> that is so cool. 